Hi all. We EAIESB, API experts, has been part of Dell Boomi Blue Challenge winners. We are happy to demonstrate the deploying of Dell Boomi Atom onto OpenShift through Docker containers. EAIESB API and DevOps team were part of large digital transformation initiative in building an on-premises cloud platform using OpenShift. Now we have instrumented deploying Dell Boomi Atom on OpenShift. These are the Dell Boomi services which will be provided by the EAIESB. Boomi Common Logging Error Framework, Catchy, addresses these issues by providing a common solution framework for logging and exception handling as enterprise service. Integration with ELK Stack. Integration with Microsoft Azure App Insights. Now let's move to demo part. Here user logs into OpenShift website through the valid credentials. Here we can see the main page of the OpenShift. We can observe the Boomi Atom at the right side top of the page under My Projects option. Click on it. Here we can observe the details of the Atom like memory used, cause of CPU and many more. As the Atom is deployed, we can see that the pod is up and running successfully. We can access the Atom with the URL provided here. Here in Boomi we are going to showcase you the Employee API Service API. Here we can see an API which we have already implemented with multiple endpoints for employee onboard services as Delete Employee, Get Employee Details, Get Employees Details, Insert Employee and Update Employee. Now let's see a building of Boomi process for getting employee details. Here we can see the process already developed with the listener where it is going to get the employee details from database. Now deploy the processes get employee, get employees and insert employee into Boomi OpenShift Atom environment by clicking on the save and deploy button. Now we must move to API management to see the deployed API. To view the deployed API go to API catalog here you can see the employee API services API. Let's access the Swagger, for that click on Employee API Services then you can see an option Access Swagger, Visualization Portal. Click on that and choose the user and click on Open then you can the list of services for that API. Now let's test the individual services select Get Employee Details. Click on Try it out and then click on Execute then you can see the list of employees. Even we can see the curl command to execute the service and you can get endpoint from the here itself. Now go to postman and test the service by clicking the send button. Now we can see an error like 401 unauthorized. So now load authorization details from curl and send those details in headers. Here we can see the details of the list of employees which got retrieved from database. Now we will test for another service i.e. insert employee get the on point from curl command and test the service. Here you can see the response as the employee details have been inserted successfully. In the upper video, we are load testing for get employee detail service with 200 hits you can see the percentage of a process at the right corner of the page. In the below video, we can see the change in the memory usage, core of CPU. That's all for this video. For any queries please reach us at widget.radd at the rate of eaiesp.com.